If you want to carry a firearm in Ohio, you can do so openly, but if you want to hide it or, in other words, conceal it, you have to get a permit, which requires training and a background check. We'll propose Bill could get rid of these requirements and allow anyone who can buy a gun to carry a concealed weapon. With her safety gear on and her gun locked and loaded, Laura Tetris is aiming for her concealed carry permit. I have an interest in guns, but I've been terrified of them. I realize that's only because I don't know anything about them. Tetris is overcoming her fear at an arm to defend class, training she thinks everyone needs before handling a gun. I, I would not feel comfortable at all, and that's why I'm here. Not necessarily to carry a gun with me everywhere I go, but if I ever had to, and if I ever had to use a gun, I just think this is a great class. We don't want that to happen. We want it to be safe. That's Kevin Sadeski, an instructor at Arm to Defend, teaching a required one-day class to people who want to get their concealed carry permit. How to safely use the pistol, how to safely store the pistol, how to store the ammunition, and then you're also going to learn the gun handling. So how do you handle the pistol? so that you're doing it safely and you're also effective with the gun. But Sadeski's class may not be required for long. A proposed House bill would no longer require taking the safety class, allowing Ohioans to get their permit without any training, an idea Sadeski supports. Why is the difference between concealed carry and open carry? There's really no difference. I'm still carrying a loaded gun. Sadeski says getting gun safety training should be the person's responsibility, not a requirement from the government. As an individual, you have to decide what training you need, and it is a good idea to get the training. I'm all for the training. I think the training is really important, but just like I can go to the store and buy a gun, I don't need the training to buy a gun or to open carry out need the training. Critics argue that the one required class is not enough training for an average person. That includes Jennifer Thorne with the Ohio Coalition Against Gun Violence. Our current permitting system is, is not nearly stringent enough, and you know they've actually just reduced that the training that's been required for that, and now they're wanting to get rid of it completely, it's completely unacceptable. Back on the shooting range, Tetris was shocked when she heard training might be optional for future gun users. I can't see how that's a good idea. If you don't know how to use a gun and don't have proper training on how to fire a gun and the safety of storing a gun, I think that's dangerous. But a co-sponsor of the bill, Republican Representative Tom Brinkman, says the change is quite simple. Anyone can legally purchase a handgun, can carry it law lawfully without a permit so long as it is visible or open carry. That legal protection changes once a person puts on a jacket that covers up the handgun. House Bill 152 simply allows that same legal gun owner to carry while wearing a jacket. Now, it is legal in six states to carry a concealed weapon without a permit. So far, the bill has gone through two hearings, but has since stalled in committee. Reporting from the State House, I'm Katie Anderson.